Here's a quick video looking at how to use reusable elements in Bubble and why uh, it can save you loads of time and it's a great practice and habit to get into. Um, so I have a, a marketplace app here that I'm building and I have a product page, a product listing page here. And um, if I go into the editor, you can see here I've got my repeating group and uh, it contains in each cell, let's just pop that open in the elements tree. Um, you can see here that I, I've got a group and then inside that group it contains an image and two pieces of text. Um, now my uh, like product card here, I, I want that to appear in multiple places around my site. I want to have like um, catalog pages or cat category pages. Uh, I want to have search results pages. I might want to have a slide on my homepage uh, which goes through my products and each time um, I want it to be displaying the same card. So this is a perfect instance of when to use a reusable element. To create a reusable element, uh, you can either right click or go edit when selecting the group containing everything you want to be past the element and you can click uh, convert into a reusable element. I'm gonna call this product card. Ooh. Okay, and what Bubble does, it takes me to uh, basically like a page, um, which is just my element. Uh, I've got all the usual controls, uh, being able to change the design, being able to nest elements uh, within each other. Um, but you can see here, all importantly, that the type of content is still product. So how do I connect this back up to my design? So if I go back onto my listing page, it hasn't actually done anything with this element that uh, I initially created, like the one-off element. Uh, and uh, I've seen people get confused by this, so here's how to use it well. Um, delete that, and then I scroll down to reusable elements and uh, into my repeating group, which uh, I've missed with my selection, but I'll just drag it down from the element tree. There we go. Into my repeating group goes my product card. Let's have a look at that. It's not gonna work, that's a heads up. Uh, because I've not told my card, my reusable element, where to get data from. I have to give it a data source. And so that is current sales product. Now if I click preview, it looks exactly how it did before. Uh, with of course the big advantage that if I go into product card and um, remember if I, if I had this reusable element in multiple places, my search results and my home homepage, uh, and I wanted to add in uh, another field for example, um, then I only need to update it in one place and it gets updated in multiple in the multiple instances of the reusable element. Uh, it's also helpful because if I'm building a responsive app, I only have to work on the responsiveness of this particular part of my app in one instance. And then of course it's a reusable element, uh, it's duplicated throughout all of the other instances that I've placed it in the app.